This video is on getting used to asking a metaphoric question about how you are in any given situation. So the metaphoric question basically is eliciting and evoking an image, maybe a still image or a moving image of what is happening. So uh, you might just have a sense of, well, what's an image for how I am now, my general mood, how I feel. And you might get a sense of nature or water or the sky or a particular kind of image of a situation. So part of this process of evoking the imagination quite consciously is to bring the imagination more alive in a way that actually serves your mindfulness and particularly serves your sense of awareness and what's happening. So we know that uh, the imaginative and imagination faculty can take you away, fantasies, thinking that things happened that didn't happen. But here we're using the imagination positively to give us a picture of a sense of what is happening so that we get a richer broader picture, literally, of what's happening. So the basic form of a metaphoric question is, what does it look like? Uh, or what's it like? What's an image for this? So uh, the way that I suggest that you start using metaphoric questions in your meditation is that after you've become present in your body and you've started focusing a little bit on your breath, you just take a moment to ask the question, if I'm water, what kind of water am I like? So this is evoking an image of water of how you are now. So it, any kind of image might occur to you but the important thing here is that the image is relating to actually how you are and your level of concentration on the breath and uh, just general sense of yourself. So you might get any range of uh, water images. I mean, water images come in a huge range. So from rainbows through to ice. <laughs> Uh, with everything in between, streams and rivers and lakes and oceans and depth and bubbly and stagnant and flowing, uh, bright, light, dark. And so as you start to get into a sense of uh, familiarity with water imagery, imagery fitting how you are and your attention, you start to get more of a sense of yourself actually more coming into a, a richer experience of yourself. So after asking the question, <coughs> if I'm water, what kind of water am I like now? You then just wait a little bit, let an image come. And you just get a sense, this is a, a skill really, of does it fit? Are you really like that? You might think, oh, I don't want to be a stagnant pond, or I don't want to be all bubbly, or I don't like that. <laughs> but actually, the question is, does it fit? And if it does fit, then you just, as it were, come more into the quality and the feeling that the image is conveying directly. You're, coming, you're becoming more sensitive to what's behind the image, where the image, as it were, comes from. So you then let the image go and just stay with that and then come back to your, your mindfulness of the body and the breath with a richer sense of yourself. Now there's a little skill that is very useful here that when you're actually asking the question if I'm water, what kind of water am I like? You're actually in touch with a sense of yourself and your body particularly, particularly the torso. So you're not just asking your head, as it were, what kind of water am I? <laughs> so you're, you're asking of your body and the general sense of yourself, and that's where the image comes from. So you might do this, or you can do this, at the end of the meditation. 
and you, you get another image and you just at first exercising this skill in asking the image, being open to image, checking the image, does it fit, coming into the quality behind the image, letting the image go, staying with the quality. So you're practicing that every time that you meditate. So what this does is it wakes up the positive use of your imagination, which you can then use in your everyday life. So you might just sort of be in a meeting and ask, well, what's this meeting like? So it's a general metaphoric question. And you might just have a sense of people trudging or dancing or something. An image that conveys what it's like for you at that moment. Now the, that little proviso, what it's like for you, is important. It might not actually be everyone's experience but it's your experience in that moment. 